Boats are the only way to get around much of Maharashtra state after last week's torrential rain. 900 villages have been affected, 100 are now submerged. Rescue teams have evacuated hundreds of thousands of people, many from the rooftops of their flooded homes. We have evacuated a COVID-19 patient from Vadange village whose oxygen level dipped and carried him towards Shivaji Bridge from where he'll be taken to hospital by ambulance. It's reported around 200 people have died in the flooding and landslides and dozens remain missing. There were five people inside. My mother, my brother, his wife and my brother's two children. Only the boy's body has been recovered. The rest of the four family members still haven't been traced. Flooding and landslides are common in India during the monsoon season, but scientists say the frequency and intensity of heavy rains has increased because of climate change. Ratnagiri in Maharashtra has seen its heaviest rainfall in the month of July in 40 years. The district's administrator said illegal construction along the Vashisti River and discharge from the Kolkewadi Dam caused added problems, and environmentalists agree. Remember, a river doesn't move in a straight line. But by virtue of it expands both sides, and that is what we call the flood plain. And that's how the natural system is actually absorbing the excess water and which reducing flooding. When the river is not able to, or to its potential, cannot drain out water, it will spring. And if you have township coming up on the flood plain, it will enter your town. <laughs> Maharashtra state leader Udav Thakare has been visiting the worst affected areas and has promised compensation. But environmentalists say the government's priority must be to deal with the impact of climate change during the annual monsoon and to stop human development from causing more disasters. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.